It's Easter Sunday and many of you probably will be eating a ham. I know there's a little confusion when it comes to carving a ham with a bone in. And who better to explain that to us and demonstrate exactly how to carve the ham? Dave Heidi, the uh, chef from Liliana's Restaurant and of course the namesake Liliana. Good morning to both of Good you. Good morning. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing great now that we're going to finally learn how to do this. Now, this is for all the home cooks. You're going to run through a couple of things. Let's start with the cutting board. Yeah, sure. So. A uh, good thing to do when you're cut when you're carving a ham is just make sure your cutting board is secure. So if I just have this on a table, it's going to slide around. Mm -hmm. So by dipping a rag in just a little bit of water, okay, and you want it to be pretty dry. Or maybe dry. a towel. Oh, oh sorry, here you go. And then oh, I see up, how you do it. And then you just fold it back. Lay it and down. then it won't. The table is going to move more than the than the actual cutting board. And the other thing is, you got to have a sharp knife. Got to have a sharp knife. So there are two things I'm sure you guys see all the time. You know, on like Hell's Kitchen and whatnot, you'll see the <clears throat> the back and forth. So there are two things. There's a stone, and this is a wet stone. And then there's a steel, and they do two separate things. The stone is what sharpens your knife, mm -hmm. and then this is what hones your knife. So if you can oh. picture, when you first buy a knife, it looks like this, if you look under a microscope. Okay. And then as you use it, it dulls and dulls. Yeah. Then you use your stone to sharpen it, and then your steel bends those little pieces of metal back up to the top. Okay. Now as I use it again and again, those are gonna bend down, and then I use my steel again to back them up. So every time I use my knife, I wanna use my steel to bend those little pieces back up. Okay. Now eventually, you know, like a paper clip, if you bend it over and over again, yeah. it'll break. So eventually, as I use my knife over and over and over again, those little pieces of metal break off. That's when I need to use my stone again to sharpen it, and then my steel to bring it back. So you don't need to use the stone every time. Exactly. Okay. The stone is maybe for a home cook, maybe like once a month. Okay. Or once every six months. And so. they're available in local specialty yeah, stores. Yeah, you can get them at like Orange Tree Imports or, um, uh, Wisconsin Cutlery, both of them have them. Okay, so let's get to the actual ham. Sure. All right, I don't know how to do this I'll gracefully. <laughs> can you get it off? Oh, I can, I can totally get it off. Here you go. Okay. Thank okay. you, Chef Dave. So, now the things that you want to look for when you're carving your ham, uh -huh. <clears throat> there's the bone right here. Okay. And then there's the bone up top right here. Okay. And it's going to form a perfect line. So you can see that the... Across from... Across from here goes down. So what okay. I do is I line up my knife and bring the knife up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Straight down. <clears throat> line it up and then straight down. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now it depends on how big, if you want the big full slices or not. Uh -huh. um, so again, same thing, <clears throat> but we're gonna do it this side. We're gonna follow that line down because we did a straight cut. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do So is you're more or less cutting off a big chunk. Basically, yeah. Okay. So now we're just going to cut straight down, uh -huh. and your knife is going to, you're going to feel the knife right along the bone. Mm -hmm. So just follow it all the way along, and you don't need to do the whole way. Okay. We're going to cut down the quarter of it, and then all you do is you just do thin little slices off the top. Oh, that's it. And so you're just going sideways with it. Just go sideways with it, and then you can end up, you can even have your little platter and your piece is already sliced off and this way you can really see the thickness of each cut that you're doing okay now the other thing is if all else fails you can just go to Liliana's and have brunch <laughs> there Liliana tell us what you're gonna have for brunch or what you'll be doing um so I'm gonna be passing out eggs uh-huh and they're Hard boiled to... eggs <laughs> no no um plastic eggs they're going to have um, gift certificates uh -huh. for beignets or um, a oh. chance to come back to the restaurant. Oh, wonderful! Well, that'll be a lot of fun, and that you can make reservations online. We'll provide a link to that. And in the meantime, you've done a beautiful job with the ham here. And also, I noticed you, because you're a chef, just use your hand, but maybe other people want to use a fork with this very sharp knife. Well, you know, the thing I like about it is when you have your hand on top, you can feel Where uh, you're... how deep the knife is. So as you're carving, you can just do this part first, okay. then you'll do this part, and then you'll do this part, and then this part. This one is going to have the least amount of meat on it. And then just remember to save your bone because it makes an awesome mm -hmm. soup stock. Base. A lot of demand for that. Heck yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Chef Dave and Liliana. We'll be right back.